into the reality of depression. <laughs> Yesterday was a great day. And now I, it's like half twelve, I'm still in bed. I have no intention of getting up. Not intention, I, the thought of getting out of bed fills me with so much intense fear and dread. And it's like a lot of effort and a lot of energy that I don't. <sighs> I just don't. Merry Christmas. We're doing it boys. <laughs> We're getting out of bed. Oh yeah, this is this is the reality of this is the reality of it. <laughs> Just hoarding stuff in my room. Bag of sweets. So my favourite thing to do when it all gets a bit too much is to get a really heavy blanket that feels really nice um, and put it around my shoulders and it's just especially now because I can't like hug anyone because I'm still in isolation I'm still in quarantine um and I'm not a hugger I don't I don't like hugs I don't like to be hugged um <laughs> but like you just you just wrap yourself and there's something about like I think it's scientific if you're a scientist please comment below um but it just pressure of having I don't know there must be some kind of science to it. I can't believe I'm gonna upload this to the internet. Uh, but one of the things that I do a lot is I chew like the inside of my mouth. So all here is so sore today and it gets really, really swollen. So that's why a lot of the time my bottom lip looks so much bigger <laughs> than my top lip. Um, because I've just chewed the whole and it really hits. So with depression, uh, I think the main thing is to celebrate the small victories. Like, I had a shower. I didn't wash my hair, but you know what? We can just put a beanie on and it'll be fine. And we don't have to put makeup on because this is what God gave us to work with. So, you know. I'm gonna open the 15th today. It's a brand new car. No, it's not. It's a notebook. Yeah. Oh, it's a drawing notebook because there's no. That's fun. I'm excited. Hmm. Okay. I have just been on hold with Postnord for 35 minutes. And I don't know what I've done to annoy the person that answered the phone to me. But that is not how you talk to customers. <laughs> like, not to sound like a Karen, but I have a missing parcel. And he was like, it will get sent back. It, it will just get sent back to the return address. And I was like, mm, but there's no return address. Like that's, we just take things to the post office and they don't have a return address for it. Like. So the person was like, oh, it'll just get sent back to where they sent it from. I was like, okay, but how, how would they know that like, my parents sent it? Like, that's insane. Um, can I insure it? Because it's like really important that it does get sent back. Um, no, no, you can't do that. Oh, like, but what if it doesn't get sent back? It will, it will get sent back. I was like, okay, okay. Um, can can I get it set back early? Like, can can you let Ika know that they don't have to hold it for 14 days? No, we can't do that. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so I just wasted 35 minutes of my life on that conversation. That told me that I just have to wait it out and see if my missing parcel turns up. It made me feel like, how dare I, like, interrupt their fabulous day by asking them this simple question like pfft, i'm sorry i'd get the sack if i spoke to someone like that and i work for myself Ooh. stock take 
Again, how did I ever fit into this dress? I could barely get it on the model. <laughs> and look how pretty it is. So pretty. Um, I've run out of real daylight. So I have to use this artificial light, but it looks, kind of looks rubbish. So I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow and I think I'm just gonna organize today. So let's do that. I'm gonna just show you guys what I can see. Hey, buddy. Uh, is that a box of washcakes? Box of washcakes? Yes. Yeah. Overruled. Sleep where you want, Flex. It's not super festive, but I'm watching To All the Boys I've Loved Before. They love it. I'm gonna put on your boots. <laughs> You're not gonna ski. What are you planning on doing all weekend? I came prepared. Oh no. Right, we're actually gonna end the vlog this time. Uh, yeah, so that was day 15. I don't know. <laughs> that was day 15. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. I feel like vlogging. Bye!